Hello and welcome to my video all about how to sew a cargo pocket. This is the first in a series of videos I will be releasing on cargo pockets in different styles. Flat with zips and hooks, 3D and all in one. For each video I will be adding a download of the pattern used and the idea is that these patterns can be mixed and matched. You can interchange the techniques shown in all the videos to create the type of pocket you need for your project. Let's get to it. For a cargo utility type garment, I recommend a cotton drill or twill, something quite robust and stable. They are usually strong garments that you can really work in. So first up, you have the basic flat cargo pocket with pleat and the flat basic flap. If you saw my latest video where I made cargo pants, this is the pocket I used. The link is in the description below if you wish to watch that at some point. To begin, you may wish to interface your fabric for strength and stability if it's quite thin. I prefer a woven fusible interfacing. We'll form the pleat first and to get a perfect centre, press the pocket in half, right sides together. Throughout this project, use a clapper to get sharp edges if you have one. A wooden spoon can do the trick in a pinch. Measure out from the fold by one and one quarter inch. Do this in both directions. Now we have our fold lines. Fold on these lines wrong size together and press. We're going to make this fold permanent by top stitching at 1 8 inch. I am using a contrast thread so that you can see it on the camera. You may wish to do your top stitching also in a statement thread that is clearly visible or select a thread that matches your fabric colour choice is yours. Bring the edges of our top stitched folds to line up with the centre line. Pin or clip in place and press. There shouldn't be any gap between them, they will touch each other. Sew along the top and bottom in the one centimetre seam allowance to secure it. Just a note here, you can do the pleat in the reverse manner so it appears on the front as it does here on the back. Both options work, I will show you the reverse option in my 3D pocket video which will be number 3 in this series. Overlock around the pocket completely. If you don't have an overlocker, use the zigzag stitch on your regular machine. The top edge of the pocket has a 2cm hem. Measure and press. Then top stitch in place at the lower edge. I use a double top stitch located a quarter inch apart. You can use any combination or widths but I recommend keeping it consistent throughout the pocket so that it all matches. The final three sides have a 1cm hem. Measure and press each in turn. Base stitch this in place to make the next steps easier to work with. Flaps are made by two identical rectangles slightly wider than the end pocket dimension. Interface one of these, this is going to be the outer pocket flap, the one visible when the garment is sewn. Attach the two together, right sides together and sew along the three edges at one centimetre seam allowance. Leave the top long edge open. Clip the corners and turn the flap the right way round. Push the corners out to sharp points and press. Top 
top stitch around the free edges. Overlock the top edge. Placing the pocket on your garment, you need to decide on the location. Use a seam on your garment as a guide, so a vertical side seam to align the vertical edge of the pockets to. Pin the pocket flat and straight. We will sew around the side edges in a top stitching pattern again to secure it down. You can also place the flap now if you wish. Measure up from the top of the pocket by one centimeter. Pin in place with the outer pocket touching the right side of the garment, so the pocket should look open. The distance can change from the top of the pocket, but you want it consistent all the way along. Backstitch at the top and end to really secure the pocket and the flap. Sew the flap one quarter inch from the overlocked edge. Fold the flap down, then sew again one quarter inch from the top edge. I like to do just slightly over and then I know all the raw edge is locked inside and not visible. So there you have a flat cargo pocket with pleat and flap. To get a free download of the pocket pattern hit the link below. Keep watching to see the additional cargo pocket variations. I will be showing you how to include zippers, hooks, side pockets and 3D pockets. And of course if you have learned please hit like and subscribe to stay notified of new tutorials. Happy sewing!